If you like modern and industrial home design ideas, then you're gonna love this lake house tour. Let's get started. Just like so many of the dream homes that we build, this home is located along an incredible view. There is a beautiful lake just outside here. The leaves have begun to turn for the fall, and once the snow falls in the winter, we'll be attracting a whole new world of activities, making this a great lake home getaway for the homeowners. This is such an impressive island with a quartzite top that came in weighing over 1,600 pounds. And that's such a great benefit of designing not only the cabinetry with Golden Eagle, but also the entire home, because we're able to load the floors for that 1,600 pound top. Even the 48 inch cooktop is 600 pounds, which really sets the tone for this kitchen. Continuing with that tone, we've got these three pendant lights. I appreciate that the light doesn't catch your eye. It keeps things a little bit more subtle. And even the island is an accenting black finish with some birds pecking applied to it. We've got the large, extra large X's. Even take a look at this outlet. How often do you see outlets that just so subtly hide into the background when they're not in use? I think that is absolutely wonderful. Just behind me here is a 48 inch Viking refrigerator. Just real impressive for this space. I always appreciate how the professional series refrigerators have such a taller height, which is great for the amount of volume in homes like this. It also adds to the beefiness, the ruggedness of this style of home. This range hood is so impressive. Not only is there terrific draw for the 48 inch range below it, but it also just has such a unique styling and it brings in the colors of the cabinetry and of course, ties into the stone on the primary fireplace. Another attention grabber in this kitchen is this fire clay enamel apron front farmhouse sink. This is just absolutely impressive. There's even a grate at the bottom and a cutting board. This was all included with the sink. And take a look at these fixtures. This is perfect for that industrial styling that we see throughout this home. And of course, all of this was provided through Golden Eagle, making it easier for the homeowners who don't live in this area to be able to pick all these items out and ensure that it's all gonna work perfectly in the home. I'll take a look at the cabinet finishes. Although there was a black finish on the island, as well as these shelves, there is a gray tone, a shale finish on the rest of these cabinets. Both colors create a unique combination where they don't have a stark contrast, but they support each other. Not only are our homes well known for their distinctive architecture and styling, but also for the grand feature walls, which is why they're so well placed alongside lakes and mountains. This feature wall is extra wide, and with the great covered porch outside, it reduces the amount of direct light coming into the space, keeping it feeling comfortable all the time. Just above us are these incredible timber trusses. So when you're sitting in this space, there is a lot to take in just at eye level, and then eventually, once you make yourself comfortable and you're enjoying a cocktail and you look up, you start to notice not only is there an incredible chandelier above you, but also these massive timber trusses, which pair so well with a lot of the other timber accents that we see throughout this home. Just in that kitchen, once we step out of the kitchen, you can see these four by eight timbers following the ceiling. Those are intentionally placed where they draw your eye out toward this great feature wall. And of course, you can't have a home like this without an impressive wood-burning fireplace. This is extra tall. Pairing this crackling fire with the turning of the fall foliage, it just feels cozy in here. Now, let's take a look over at this side of the room. We have a bar area. This is a Sub-Zero refrigerator with an appliance panel applied to it. We're continuing with the same color that we saw on the kitchen perimeter, so it makes this all feel cohesive. This prep sink is a composite granite, which allows us to have this black finish. It pairs perfectly with the styling that we see in this home. And even these floating shelves are absolutely perfect. These were custom made for the shelves. Wait until you see what was done in the bar area in the finished basement. That is next level. We'll be getting to that soon. 
But these shelves are perfect for this space. We even have the sconces right below them, providing great accent lighting in the evening. With this home having the mini bar and that main bar downstairs, you may have started to get the sense that some design considerations were around entertaining and hosting. And this furniture selection was also a key consideration because it's flexible when you have people gathering and mingling in this area, you're able to double this as seating. And then of course, someone could still be seated in the main living room space. Now, speaking of hosting, you wanna make sure you're able to accommodate large groups, which is why it's perfect to place the patio door right over here, giving us access to the covered porch. This is an extra large covered porch area. Then of course that covered porch continues on beyond that feature wall. This is a terrific table. This is Russian oak, extra sturdy. Take a look at the corners on this. It really plays into the timber styling that we see in this home. Now speaking of gray tones, have you noticed this flooring? The floor covering is an engineered hardwood oak and even these floor coverings were custom made for this home. They just blend right in. Now speaking of custom made, have you noticed the timber stair heading up to the loft? You don't see that in ordinary homes. As you'll see when we get up this stair, this is a place where all the kids run up to. There are plenty of beds up here. So we wanted to make sure that, although none of our stairs are ever designed to be steep, we wanted to make sure this was extra gradual so that it was a more comfortable stair system for kids running up and down. This is pretty neat with the open treads. And then of course, our rebar. The rebar was painted black, pulls into that industrial styling that we're seeing in this home. Extra big handrails. And now take a look at this view. A whole new perspective of the lake. And then we even have incredible windows featuring the front entry of the home. Here's a great idea to consider when you are selecting a lighting fixture for this great room space. When you have a view like this, you don't want to obstruct it, which is why this more minimalistic style chandelier allows you to see right through. And of course, the styling of your timber trusses matter as well. Not only how high up they are, but even just the arch that we see in there. So none of that is obstructed, but we still have all this beauty up in the ceiling. We even have some beautiful lights shining down onto that stone. Take a look at the dramatic shadows that we see back there. There is just interest, detail, and character right around every single corner. It's kind of hard to take it all in right away. You see it as you observe the space. Even those metal accents, see those are done, and of course they have a structural purpose, but they also support more of the industrial styling that we're seeing in this home. Well, let's make our way downstairs. There are still so many great ideas to see. We have made our way into the master suite, and it is just gorgeous in here with a beautiful accent wall, vertical six inch planking with a cobalt paint. There is a great combination of colors, textures, and finishes in this space. We've got our dark hand-hewn trim, which pairs well with the wood ceiling finish, and then all the drywall reflects a lot of wonderful light in this space. These double barn doors lead to the master bathroom. Now, when you're installing barn doors, you gotta make sure you have a soft close mechanism on there because not only do they, of course, create the soft close effect, but they also hold the doors in place. And that's usually how these doors will be used. They're just more of an accent on the wall. I've been eager to show you this walk-in shower. Not only is there a beautiful combination of different tile selections with the herringbone, and then the vertical pin striping, but also notice the vertical grooves continue all the way to the base and wrap around. It's very cohesive. And there is also an inline drain. Now, oftentimes those are located at the edge of the shower, but symmetry was important here, which is why it was placed right at the center. I just think that's brilliant. We also have these wonderful shower doors and those are treated ahead of time to make sure that they're easy to keep clean and they don't accumulate watermarks. There is a his and her vanity area. Each of these are very fitting for this home, being that we had that apron front sink in the kitchen. So the homeowners absolutely love these. And then the drawers are integrated around the sink drains. On the other side of the bathroom is a window which brings in some natural light. And of course, we have a grand walk-in closet just beyond that space. The cabinetry and organization continues on in this house. You've got to see what was done in the laundry. There are hooks for hanging up your hats and jackets, even these nice open cubby areas 
Those are perfect for winter hats and mittens. And then there are extra deep drawers below, perfect for shoes as well as overflow items. The floor covering is a large format tile, which minimizes grout lines, something you wanna keep in consideration when you're working in a mudroom. The washer and dryer each have a pedestal below them, allowing us extra storage, but it also makes it more convenient because they're at a more workable height. There's plenty of countertop space on each side and there is even a utility sink. I admire all the wall cabinets. They look like they could belong in a kitchen. And then the floating shelves are just perfect for continuing that theme that we've seen throughout the home. It's common to default to just open shelving in a pantry, but consider the opportunity that you would have if you incorporated drawers like what we have here. Those drawers would be more appropriate for miscellaneous items that you don't want sitting out on the shelves. This is the powder room that all of the guests would use, and it certainly has a wow factor. This accent wall features wood planks that are all beveled, and then they're installed in a herringbone pattern and painted with a dark cobalt finish. It certainly has a wow factor, and in a smaller space like this, using a herringbone helps draw your eye up and it adds a lot of interest. This vanity has a combination of great elements. There are wood planks on the bottom shelf, and then we've got the metal frame around it with a concrete top and integrated sink basin. This is just perfect for this room. Now, if you like the way this wall looked, wait until you see the guest bedroom. The guest bedroom is nearly as grand as the master suite. Now, this is a suite in itself with an ensuite bathroom attached. We even have access to the deck and the great lake view. So this is absolutely wonderful in here. And of course, take a look at that accent wall. That is absolutely beautiful. To give you a sense for how large this room is, not only is there plenty of walkway, you even have a TV over here, but there are two full beds in this room. I think it's wonderful that not only do we have a loft in this home, but each of the bedrooms on this main floor have cathedral ceilings. It adds so much volume to the space and certainly makes the room feel a lot more grand. This ensuite bathroom is special. We've got a walnut top right here. These are drop-in sinks. They've got a little more of a vessel sink appearance, but they still are drop-in. Of course, continuing with those specialty faucets and mirrors. And this backsplash, not only is it reflecting some metallic finishes, but also with the pendant light that we have here, it's creating a lot of wonderful shadows and dimension. This shower has an incredible rain head above us. We've got Kohler faucet fixtures in this space that integrated drain once again. But most notably, it's the combination of these two tile finishes that pair so well together. We also have some nice natural light coming in, which is diffused by the obscurity in the glass. And wait until you see this. This is an incredible bar. Take a look at all this seating here. We also have a raised bar with a quartz top. It only makes sense that if you're going to have a bar, you're going to want a second level to the bar top. That way, when you're behind the bar, everyone is at your height. It also allows for extra placement of outlets. Quartz was specifically selected for this bar location because it easily handles the wear and tear and it's not going to stain. These pendant lights, they really help set the mood in this area. The pulls and knobs on these cabinets have a knurling on them. That just is perfect for the bar area. It was intentional to stop these vertical slats at the edge of each bar so that it didn't overwhelm the entire space, but provided more of an accent wall. And then that was carried through to the backside of the island. There are so many great design ideas in this basement. Take a look at this. It reminds me of an old wine cellar. How perfect is it to incorporate all the stone that we have here and then have these individual wine racks which are separating your different styles of wine. I just love what was done for this bathroom. The combination of light colored floors and the drywall are great for a bathroom like this which doesn't have a window. The cedar planks are irregular in shape and size. Also, they all have a different texture to them. This live edge mahogany top is absolutely gorgeous. And then we have a stone cut vessel sink. The styling in the walk-in shower is stunning. Each of these walk-in showers in this home all had their own distinctive style. And this room features a custom made glass partition that supports the modern aesthetic that we're seeing in this home and offers good contrast with more of the traditional wood that we're seeing on the wall. 
A consideration with this bedroom is knowing that that would be a common gathering space. This door is tucked around the corner, offering a little bit more privacy. And of course it has its own distinctive style that we haven't seen throughout the home, yet it carries through with many of the same finishes. I haven't pointed it out yet and I'm surprised it took me this long, but notice the floor covering in this basement. It is absolutely beautiful with the veining and the variety of color that we see. It looks like granite just flows throughout the space. All these floors have radiant in-floor heat, keeping it feeling warm and cozy throughout the winter time. This bathroom has a beautiful vanity, plenty of space in here, and then there is a tub, perfect for the little ones. When we do tubs in our homes, we always like it when there's a tile surround. And very consistent with the stylings of this house, there is another feature wall within this space. This living room space has so much great overflow seating, and look at all the ambient light that flows into here. It's hard to believe that we're in the basement. There are just so many windows. And even consider what's been done here. Rather than dividing this space with three equal size windows, it's more of an accenting feature to make the center one more narrow, half the width of the other two that flank each side of it. Both sets of patio doors in this basement are extra wide. So this is eight feet wide overall. That's two feet wider than a normal patio door. That allows for a four foot wide opening heading out to this incredible outdoor living space. This is such a nice outdoor living space. We've got flexibility where if you, the weather is bad, if it's raining outside, we can gather under this covered space. We also have plenty of room for grilling and then there's great airflow for any smoke that would be leaving this space. We've got great access to head to the upper deck with that stair right around the corner. When you're designing your lake home, oftentimes you're thinking about the lifestyle, whether you're along the beachfront, utilizing the boat, getting out on the trails, or in this case, incorporating a traditional sauna and a cold plunge. Now this isn't just a cold plunge, it actually doubles as being able to be a hot tub as well, which is why we see the smokestack right there. Both of these are fueled by wood. The homeowners love where these were located because they're able to take in the beautiful scenery and just enjoy being outside. I think this is a great idea. There are other ways this property was leveraged to be able to enjoy an incredible outdoor experience. There is a large fire pit set off to the side, surrounded by Adirondack chairs, and there is comfy seating just outside of the basement walkout wall. Now take a look at this house. Just imagine seeing it from the lake. It's absolutely impressive. And then each side of the home have a small gable. Notice the Morris and Tenon timber trusses inside of each of those gables. Those beautiful accents accumulate as we go around this entire home, creating a very impressive structure. While we're on this secluded piece of property, we're still able to utilize Sonos to play music throughout the entire home. We can control the volume and which rooms they're in. Imagine you're out at the campfire and you really wanna set the mood for the night. You can turn down the music a little bit and then dim the lights without even leaving your chair. Once you get on the road and you've left the cabin, you can rest assured knowing that you closed the garage doors and locked all the doors by checking an app on your phone. That is convenient. At first glance, when you pull up this driveway, you are just captivated by the complexity of the roof system. We call the styling of this roof structure a Western style roof, which is a stacked roof system and then an extended ridge. Not only does that add more interest and style, but also it offers additional protection for those timber trusses. Just like designing any of our homes, the land plays an important role in the home's overall structure. So we've got quite a bit of grade change from up here all the way down to the beachfront. And we also needed to make sure that we didn't cut off access to the peninsula. That peninsula is very important for the homeowners and a very special feature for this property. Now with this being a second home for the homeowners, they wanted to be able to utilize a garage, but they didn't need the garage connected to the house, which is why we're able to utilize this beautiful connection, which oftentimes would just be a breezeway. But rather than it being a breezeway area, it's completely opened up, which allows for vehicles to pass on through, making their way to the peninsula as well as overflow parking. 
When the homeowners visited our design center showroom, they were able to select the stone as well as the stain color, even the style of log siding and the gable finish. The combination of these colors and textures creates a very distinctive design style. Comment below with your favorite features and check out this playlist for more great home tours.